knocking the ball. The difference that I can feel was my back because the back was loose. You might be sort of off if you just hit walls like that. You will be. Use the muscles that you haven't normally used. They're probably going to be slow to start with. But... White flag. Yep, white flag. Left heel. Yep, left heel. Takes the club head up more abruptly. Yep, now almost this, kind of may, towards me. This may take some practice. Boy, it does work. Okay, so I got my pitching wedge. Okay, so we'll just try a couple more again here. And probably be able to tell a significant difference between the, the trajectory there. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. So instant feedback right there. Good wake up call. Can almost move that ball position back just a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Wednesday, my golf wig, I was in five bunkers. Bingo. What's the biggest thing that you can feel the difference between hitting a couple versus now? Not worrying about kind of sculling it and scooting it past the hole and not really kind of getting underneath it to where it's just going to go, you know, two, three feet in front of you. Now when, before, were you feeling like kind of you were helping the ball up a little bit then or? A little bit because my weight was more on my back foot than my left, than my front foot. Okay, yeah. So That would be an absolute key then right there, just to focus on having that weight distribution on your left leg to help prevent that. I thought. Yeah. Am I still going to want to have more weight on my front foot than my back foot? Like Not necessarily. For a pitch shot, we kind of want to try and more even it out even a little bit. You got kind of a little bit of a risk break there at, at, on that one. That's going to make inconsistency. <laughs> yeah, with breaking your wrist, exactly. It's just going to add uh, inconsistent factor, whereas if you're just going to use your arms and shoulders, it's going to be a lot more consistent.